Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Welcome back to the channel, I hope you are well. Today we are taking a look at update 10 for Forza Horizon 4. We're going to take a look at all the new cars and some of the new features coming in update 10. So if you are new around here, consider subscribing, smash that like button and let's jump into update 10. So to kick things off then, update 10, they are throwing a lot of cars at us, be it brand new cars, rare cars, or cars that are already in Forza Horizon 4, but just for completing Season 10's festival playlist, the overall completion, the 50% is the Bentley Continental FE, and 80% is that Cadillac Limo. So if you don't have either of those cars, now is your chance to grab them just for completing the festival playlist. Jumping into the summer season then, for 50% completion, is the KTM Expo GT4, the race car edition. Quite a cool little car, it's really grippy and quite fast. The 80% completion is the Honda Civic 2018. This was way back in Series 1 when this car was available and it's pretty rare. I see people asking for it on forums, Facebook and in comments actually uh, if they want to buy this car but the Honda Civic 2018 is now available for 80% completion. For completing the summer trial, you will go ahead and grab yourself a Honda NSX-R and the Seasonal Community Championships, we have a Ghibli 2014, new to Horizon 4. I'm pretty sure it was in Forza Horizon 3, but they're saying it's new to Horizon 4. And the Volkswagen GRC Beetle, a wheel spin exclusive or a 500,000 credit option in the auction house. Jumping into autumn then, we have the 50% completion is going to unlock the Fiat Dino, brand new to Forza Horizon 4, running a Ferrari engine and a Fiat body, built for homologation rules for Ferrari, it's a pretty cool car and I can't wait to unlock it, but 80% completion is going to grab you that Aventador SV, a wheel spin exclusive and a personal favourite of mine, so make sure you get this done and grab those two cars. Seasonal Championships is going to unlock you the Camaro 79, a wheel spin exclusive, and the Hummer H1, another wheel spin exclusive. So make sure we're getting these championships done, getting these cars unlocked. Moving on to probably my least favourite season in Forza Horizon 4, that would be Winter. For 50% completion, we're going to unlock that Hoonigan Fiesta. Pretty cool car, four wheel drive, lots of horsepower, lots of hooning around in Winter. It's quite good fun. For 80% completion then, we're going to get that all-exclusive, very rare Mustang Fox Body. These sell for a lot of money on the auction house, so make sure you're grabbing your Mustang Fox Body, 80% completion of the Winter Festival playlist. For completing the trial in Winter, is going to unlock you the Lancia Delta, a wheel spin exclusive car. And for completing the Seasonal Championships, you're going to unlock the Audi TT RS, a wheel spin exclusive car and a favourite car for the driver tars to use every time, either that or the Ford Focus. And then you're going to get the all new to Forza Horizon 5, I'm pretty sure it's in Forza Horizon 3 though, we're going to get the AMC Rebel, brand new to Forza Horizon 4 and possibly a drag racing king, we shall have to wait and see and hope for the best. Moving on to spring then, the final season in the festival playlist and possibly the best car in the update for 50% completion is the Rimac Concept 2, a four-wheel drive, 1,900 horsepower electric car. Now, they say it can do 320. Whether Forza Physics will allow us to do that, it's only got two gears. They say with gearing tuned correctly, we can get 320 plus. We shall have to wait and see. I'm hoping for the best, but we shall have to wait and see. A 1,900 horsepower electric Rimac 2 for 50% completion of the Spring Festival playlist. For 80% completion, it's going to grab you another very exclusive and very rare car in Forza Horizon 4 is the Subaru WRX Bug Eye. For completing the trial, is another wheel spin exclusive of the Porsche Cayenne, an absolute off-roading beast. And for completing seasonal championships in Spring, you're going to get the Ford Raptor 2011, which I didn't actually know this car was in the game until this update and I already have one unlocked. I've got one in my garage, didn't know it was there until I saw the live stream and thought, huh, I've actually got one of those. And also the Ferrari F50 as well. Quite an expensive car, it's quite nice they're giving that us for free. So there's all the cars in the festival playlist. Well, let's take a look at what else is new. The only real main feature in Forza Horizon 4 is something called Star Card and I don't really see the point in it. It just tracks your progression through the game 
and there's little tiles that you have to complete and it will say complete 70 races and you've done say 35 out of 70 and they turn bronze, silver and gold once they're complete. There's no real rewards for this, there's no cars, there's no cash, it's just something called Gamertag Flare, which I'm not too sure what that does but we'll have to wait and see. I don't overly see the point of this but it is quite nice to have everything in one place and you can see exactly where you are during the game. Season 10 then is going to give us a whole host of new cars, brand new to Forza Horizon 4, ones that were hard to unlock, ones that are wheel spin exclusive. I'm looking forward to the Rimac 2, 1900 horsepower is going to be insane, that top speed hopefully we can get 320 miles an hour, I think it would be pretty cool, a new best for Forza Horizon 4 if we can, and the Rebel AMC as well. I'm looking forward to that, a drag racing monster. Let me know down in the comments which car you're most looking forward to. Thank you so much for watching, as always, if you are new around here, subscribe for more and have an awesome day.